All right, welcome back. We just done the Vanessa House double dry hop broken tile. Um, he gave it a nine and a half. I gave it an eight and a half. The only thing to complain about for me was it could be a little bit sweeter. If it had been a little bit sweeter, I'd have probably been nine and a half, ten. Um, lots of fruit in the smells. Not so much in the taste, but 8.4% alcohol at $12, $13 a six pack. Actually, I think they're four packs. Yeah. But still, I mean, either way, you can't complain about that. You going to bring this up on your phone? All right, we just got this today, like literally uh, about three and a half hours ago. Uh, it's a double IPA from Rough Tail and American Solera. American Solera is out of Tulsa. Uh, Rough Tail is out of Midwest City, Oklahoma City. It's kind of confusing. Um, Cats. Cats. It's... It was cold when we got it. It's still pretty cold. Um, might be a little warmer than expected. Okay, so this says Happy Hella Haze is our second collaboration. Blur oh, I'm on the wrong yeah, fucking one. Blaze Brothers is a collaboration brewed with American Solara. This oat driven double IPA has a healthy dose of. What the fuck is that? Where? Motuesca? Motuesca? I can't tell. I don't know. Some fucking M word hop. Uh, Citra and El Dorado featured in a two stage dry hop. We also snuck in a little mosaic just to party. Expect a full body mouthfeel from the oats and a tropical, a, a dope tropical aroma since the New Zealand, that same stupid N word, is fresh as fuck. Exact, exact wordings. Yeah. I, is this the one that they said they dry hop the fuck out of it or something? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Rough Tail is uh, when they name their their beers and they describe them, they they don't they don't act like a, they don't act like a bitch about it. So, like Hail Jucifer and, and uh, Bad Ombre and Hail Jucifer six point six six alcohol. Yeah. People still have that. I'm like, damn, why? Well, that was good shit. Why though. did you drink the shit out of it then? We got like a pineapple cantaloupe. Definitely like a, a melon. Yeah. I don't know. What's the percentage did it say? I didn't see one. Uh, it seems a little higher because it's, sit, it's sitting around pretty good. I mean, eight and a half? No, it, it don't say. No. It'll be in description. And I can kind of smell it too. Now it's kind of airing out a little bit. Yeah, I don't say. Alright, let's get into it. That's different. What the hell's on this table? Dirt. Dirt. For Brady. Mmm. Mm. It makes me happy that I grabbed an extra six pack of this. It's boozy. Or four pack, yeah. But not in a bad way. Like no, not like, a not a lingering make you twitch kind of a booze. Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely eight plus, but yeah. it's not. And to kind of give you an idea, this is this was my ticket. I was 150 in line. He was what 149. 149. Um, and the and line I, the line was still out at, to the parking lot when we left. Yeah, I heard uh, people as high as like one in the 170 somewhere. They were talking about they were ticket 170 something. That's the highest that I heard. But I mean, there was probably more than 50 people behind us. Yeah. I mean, there was still plenty there, so I don't see why anybody you know shouldn't have got it. Yeah. They sold out of their glassware uh, for this beer, uh, which I wouldn't have bought one anyway. I, I prefer stemware like such, like mainly what he's got. Um, and they stopped crowler sales, right? Uh, I don't know if they stopped crowler sales or if they sold out of pre-made crowlers and wasn't just they just weren't trying to slow it down anymore. Okay. Yeah, they had their triple dry hop, uh, everything wrapped with orange. Sure. Um, I really wasn't interested in it when he when he talked about getting beers. I'm like, oh, let's just forgo, forgo that. They, their milkshake, I was kind of interested in. Yeah, milkshake, everything rhymes with orange. Yeah. But you'll see more of you'll see more of this than you I would see the milkshake. I think they changed the wording on this because it says we lactose the crap out of that. It used to say fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Someone probably bitch. Uh, at my church, they don't appreciate that. You're drinking a fucking double IPA. Why are you going to church and bitching about it anyway? 
I go to church for the wine and crackers. I go to church for the fiddling. What are you, Catholic? <laughs> Father O'Malley has a good touch. <laughs> That's just loud as shit. Oh, fuck. I never thought about that. <laughs> Headphone users beware. <laughs> It's, it's boozy, but not in a bad way. But at the, I guess maybe it's the oats that make it like kind of creamy. Mm -hmm. It's like super creamy, fruity, a little bit boozy. It's not over bitter. It like the sweetness is like fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. This is fucking great. Yeah, I can definitely taste a little bit of a mosaic they put in it. That M word, I have no fucking clue what the hell that is. As we said in the last beer review, I don't brew beer. I don't brew coffee. So. Like maybe like Matika, something like that. M O T U E K A. Motueka. Sounds like a fucking Star Wars name. Count Motueka. <laughs> He's got like a gigantic fucking can lightsaber. It's like when it shoots out like head. It's like head and shit coming out in foam, and every time he hits you, you like get more drunk. He don't kill you, he just fucking, he puts you in, a, get you in, a, in an alcoholic coma. <laughs> you know, I think, it, let's see, 12, 12, 7, 17 canned? What is today? Or tw I said 17, 12, 7. Today is the 9th. Okay, so it was came two days ago for the two. people not smart in math. <sighs> but yeah, I've never had anything that I didn't like by Rough Tail, never had anything that I didn't like by American Solara, and I was like, so excited about that that I actually bought an extra one of the an extra four pack of that. He'll probably like the. I'm gonna like the, the other one, one better, <laughs> and then I'm gonna be sad. I should have bought fucking two of both. Just, I'm sure they might have some left over, or you could you know give a midget a hand job and get some extras. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Yeah. I like it, but the the flavor isn't punch in the face like you'd expect from Reftail. Um that's true. I'd like to know the percentage because it's you can taste it. <laughs> I mean, you don't have untapped on your phone, so I do, but I never fucking signed into it. Get out of here with that. <laughs> but we're not editing this, guys, so just skip forward a little bit. God damn it! Equal... <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're back to this again. Open. Okay. There we go. Guys, this is a multi-million dollar production. You don't understand. Like, this is like, it started, no, maybe it didn't. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, they usually do it like this. So it goes start at the brewery. And then... Just type in blaze. I will right here. Oh, okay. If oh, I was to skip to me, it said blaze, brother. <clears throat> if I was to guess a fruit, god damn, I wouldn't I wouldn't know. It don't say. Not available ABV, not available IBUs, and nobody has rated this beer on give it a Untapped. give it a one, because I think it's shit. <laughs> it's very terrible. It's terrible. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, I do want to know if this actually signed me in. Hey, it did. Lemon, lime, but and pineapple. Yeah, I don't. In the smell, you kind of get like maybe like a, a cantaloupe or a, a honey melon or something yeah. like that, and really boozy. But I don't get any of like the melon in the taste. I definitely get like you know maybe some peach mango. Uh, mm, I don't really get a whole lot. Maybe a little bit of a citrus of some kind. I mean, I'm. I, I would assume it's probably orange puree. But the sweetness is perfect. So. Oh. All right, we're we're cutting this almost ten minutes, so it's mm -hmm. zip on through. I'll go and spin. Mmm. All right. Um, if it had more flavor, I'd give it a higher score, eight and a half. I give it a nine and a half. Okay. Um. A little bit more fruit flavor in this, and this would be a fucking 11. Well, the bad thing is by the time you see this video, uh, there's a whole another se session with me and Ty that you're having. I'm still in the lungs with me and Brad, 
Uh, it'll probably yeah. be too late to drink this. It'll probably be pretty uh, lacking in flavor, so. Yeah, by the time this video comes out, don't try to fucking trade for this or nothing like that, because it's, I mean, we could both be wrong and it may not fucking fall off, but. I think it'd be really malty and that's about it, so. All right, so here you go, Lucy.